Mozart Minuet. classical piece so it means that right hand mm, uh, right hand plays the melody and left hand plays accompaniment so this texture we call homophonic one melody and one accompaniment it's very important that you will articulate your right hand melody the way it's written in the music typical for classical period was to join two notes with the slower there are lots of two notes joined with the slower. So how to play them? Usually we go we go down with our hand on the first note and lift off with the second. So this is typical two note slow. First note will sound a little bit louder and the second is softer. So first phrase, right hand. Down, up. That's how you lift it. And then float off. Down, up, up, down, up. Repeat. Down, up, up, up. Lift off after each chord. The only two chords which you join are in the bar seven. These two. Pay attention that top not two notes are joined with five and four. Five, four. Meanwhile, your thumb goes from D to C. Like that. So it's important just to let thumb go on the D and then you join it to the next chord like that. And we'll play all quavis detached and all crotchets, uh, pardon me, all quavis joined and all crotchets detached. From bar nine. Second time softer. Float off. Now double notes legato. Second part, which is trio. Traditionally, minuets were written in two. Minuet one and minuet two. Minuet two was played by a trio of musicians. That's why it's sort of kept its name trio. Right hand. Please play appoggiatura in the bar two, in the bar 18, as two quavis. Like that. One and two and three and. 
Floyd off. Second phrase. Again, play two quavies. Detach crotchets. Lifting off your wrist. Right hand from bar 25. Detach C. Two notes lower. Second phrase. Detach C. Now legato. Lift off. Lift off. Lift off. Left hand from bar 17. Pay attention that every second note will be C. It's called Brechnan pattern in music. From 25, thumb on B, on B flat. Detach all crotchets. <laughs> 